Hey everybody, Reich Polo Tech here. In this video, I am going to show you how to install, set up, and use all the functions on the BioBidet A7 Special Edition Luxury Smart Toilet Seat. Now, bidets and bidet toilet seats like this one aren't used very often in the United States. However, if you go to other countries, they're used quite a bit more often. But recently also, I've noticed that in the last few years, they've been popping up in the US. I will tell you this, when you use it for the very first time, it, it it's a little bit shocking because you get squirted right in the and uh, that can be a little shocking at first, but after you've used it a couple of times, you will wish they were installed everywhere. So anyways, let's get down to it. So when you open the box for the first time, you will have, it's very well packaged, Get a little advertisement, you'll get an operating manual, you'll get a quick start guide. You will get the bidet toilet seat itself. One thing I will tell you right off the bat, it does require electrical power, so you're going to have to install an outlet. And if you don't feel comfortable installing an outlet, then have an electrician do it for you. But you will need an electrical outlet near this. You also get a bag with hoses and various fittings. It's a T fitting here, and here's a reducing fitting. This is the bracket that you use to install it to the actually to the existing toilet when you take the other seat off. All right, and that's it. All right, so like the first thing I said, you need an outlet. This is a GFCI outlet here installed right next to my toilet. Uh, the next thing that you're gonna wanna do is go around here to the other side and you're gonna turn the water off. So turn it completely to the right and turn the water off. Then once you get that done, you're gonna flush the toilet and that is gonna get all of the water out of the tank and most of it out of the bowl and it's not going to refill because you turn the water off. The reason you wanna do that is because you will be disconnecting this fitting right here and it will leak out all of this water that's in there if you don't get it out of there first. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is take off the existing toilet seat. There's little clips or little plastic caps back here that you just pop open like this. And then you take, there's a nut underneath that you hold with your fingers. And then you take a screwdriver and you just unscrew it. Then you can just lift the old toilet seat off. All right, so the next thing you're gonna do is grab this bracket out. The tab here goes towards the back and you're gonna center it up over the bigger two holes here. Then you're gonna take your plastic bolt and you're gonna drop it down in there on both sides here. And then you can slide it forward and backwards as you need to, uh, to try to make your your bidet line up with your bowl here a little better, but for right now, I'm just gonna kind of start it right in the middle. And then the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna grab this, what they call rubber packing, and there's a little plastic washer that goes behind it, and they're gonna go up on the bottom part of that bolt from underneath, and then you're going to hand screw this nut on. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and you want the rubber cone facing up because it's gonna be sucked up into that hole underneath the bowl here. So I'm gonna push it up onto that. And because of that little plastic washer on there, it will stay on there. It kinda, it kinda locks on to the, um, the threads of the plastic bolt. And then you can go ahead and just hand tighten this. I'm gonna put it just snug in case I need to adjust it a little bit later once I get the actual a day seat on. All right, so there's one side. Now I'm take the other side and do the same thing. Now that that's on, I'm gonna back up here a little bit so you can see the whole bowl. All right, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your bidet, and if you flip it over here, you can see that you have the option of running this power cord in this direction, in these clips, or in this direction in these clips. My outlet is on this side of the toilet and it's already set up on that side. So luckily all I have to do is just go over here and center it up on top of the bracket here.
push the button and it slides down on top of it. Now at this point you can lift it up and you can kind of look here to see if you're close. Uh, I left mine loose underneath with the wing nuts or, or the, the thumb nuts underneath so that you can slide it forward and backwards a little bit to get it to where it matches up best with your toilet here, with your bowl. So I like it right there. That looks pretty good. So now I'm going to reach underneath and I'm going to tighten them up the rest of the way. All right. Next thing I suggest is you take an old towel like this because we're going to be disconnecting this hose right here and some water is going to drip out. Next, I'm gonna take an adjustable wrench here and I'm gonna loosen this up a little bit down here. And I'm gonna take this hose off as well. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my hoses here, this pack, and I'm gonna grab the two hoses out of here. The bigger hose is the one that's gonna go from the water supply up to the T up here. The T is going to thread on to this fitting right here. So I'm gonna grab this T out and take the T and go ahead and thread it onto here. It has a rubber washer in there, so it shouldn't need any um, Teflon tape, but if you feel more comfortable, by all means, put some Teflon tape on there. And I'm gonna angle it out this direction because I don't know if you can see this yet or not, but this right here is what we're gonna be connecting to. So this smaller hose is gonna go from here to here. So I'm gonna just angle it out in this direction a little bit. I'm also gonna take my adjustable wrench here and tighten this down gently because it's plastic threads on this. I'm gonna thread it in there as far as I can with my fingers, and then I'm going to use my adjustable wrench to tighten it down. All right, so once you've got that on there good and tight, next thing you'll do is you'll go ahead and thread it onto here as well. All right. All right, and the last two things that we're gonna do, we're gonna thread it onto this right here, the T, and we're gonna thread it on, gotta take this little rubber cap off, the threads of the bidet seat itself. And also on this side. Be careful not to cross thread it because those are plastic threads as well. All right, and then you can turn the water back on and see if you got any leaks. Looks good here. Don't see any drips there. Don't see any drips there. It appears that we're doing pretty good. After you got all your water turned back on, it's time to plug it in. Before I get started showing you all the functions of this thing, I want to show you what it looks like with the lights off. It's like a neon blue. Pretty cool. All right, now that we've got it all hooked up, I'm gonna show you how to use all the functions and all the buttons on it. Now I wanna let you know that I put plastic wrap on the bowl there. No, I'm not doing a fraternity prank on somebody. Full disclosure, I was in a fraternity so I could say that. Um, I put it on there so you'll be able to see when it squirts and how it squirts and that type of stuff with each of the functions. So the first one that I wanna show you is Right here, it's the stop button. If you're in any of the functions at all, you can hit the stop button and it will stop. Um, you have to be sitting on the toilet and I'm going to represent sitting on the toilet with my hand covering this spot right here. There is a little sensor in here that will not only let it know that somebody's on the toilet and let the functions actually work, but it also uh, turns on the seat heater. So the first thing I wanna show you here is the cleaning function. If you hit the cleaning function, the little wand back here comes forward and it starts squirting. 
and it will squirt for, if you just hit that button only, it will squirt for 60 seconds and then it will stop. I will show you if you get up off the seat or if a kid is on there and they stand up like this, see how there's nobody on the sensor or there's nothing on the sensor anymore? It automatically will stop. That way it won't keep squirting all over the place if your kid is on it and then they decide to jump off and run out of the room for some reason. So that was one of the questions that I had when I first was getting ready to buy this is, I got a nine year old and a 10 year old are they going to be able to do this? And if they hop off of it while it's in the middle of its little cycle thing, is it going to squirt all over my bathroom? The answer is no. It may squirt a little bit, but eventually it will stop. All right, so I'm going to put this back on here and I'm going to hit the bidet function now. By the way, the cleaning button, the first one that I showed you, it says it's for him. And the bidet function, it says it's for her. So... As you can see here, I think it shoots up a little further up front. I'm gonna hit the stop button again. The next function that I wanna show you here is the dry button. As you can see, this kind of bubbled up a little bit. That actually blows out warm air. There's a little heater inside and there's a little blower in there and it will actually blow out warm air to dry your bum after it's been squirted off. So as you can see, I think it goes for about 60 seconds as well and then shuts off automatically. So I'm gonna hit the stop button again. Okay, so the fourth button is the massage button. In order to use that button, you have to press either the cleansing button first or the bidet button first. So let me show you what happens. Um, I'm gonna leave it up to your imagination as to what the massage button is used for, but I'm gonna show you what happens when you actually press it. So I'm gonna press the cleansing button first here and then I'm gonna press the massage button right afterwards. And as you can see there, the pressure is going from greater to lower, to greater to lower. So it's kind of almost like pulsating a little bit. It's getting stronger and then getting weaker and then getting stronger and then getting weaker. So that is what the massage does with the cleaning. All right, so the next function that I wanna show you here is the oscillating function, which means it goes forward and backwards. So if you hit the cleansing button, and then you hit the cleansing button a second time, it will start oscillating forward and backwards. And the same thing happens for the bidet button. If you hit it once, and then hit it again right after that, it will oscillate back and forth. So I'm gonna show you with the cleansing button. Hit it once, hit it twice, and it should oscillate forward and backwards as it squirts. All right, I'm gonna hit stop. The next button that I wanna show you here is the night light button, which is this one right here. As you can see, it turns a blue light on in there. And if you leave your toilet seat up, don't have to leave additional night lights on. So that's kind of a nice little feature for in the evenings. You can hit the button again to turn it off. Uh, another button here is the silent button. If I hit any button, it's gonna beep. Uh, I'm gonna stop that. And then when I stopped it, it beeped twice. So if I hit the silent button, it won't beep anymore. All right, the next thing I wanna show you is, I'm gonna go ahead and just turn on the cleansing normal, and I'm going to show you the nozzle position button, the forward and backwards. So you see it's squirting right here. If I hit the forward button up here, I can make the nozzle go out further and shoot forward, farther forward up, and even farther, and that's as far as it goes. And then you can adjust it back as well. If it's too far back or too far forward, you can adjust it with that. You can also, next to it here, you have a high and low pressure. So if you want the pressure to be higher, you can hit the pressure up button, and as you can see, the pressure got harder, harder, as hard as it goes right there, and then I'll hit the lower button, and it will get lower and lower and lower. And that, I believe, is the lowest setting right there. I'm gonna go ahead and hit stop here. All right, so back here in the back, you have a seat temperature button, and there's four settings on that. Uh, you have basically 
no lights on, which is zero, and that's kind of room temperature. Then you have one, two, and three. Three being the hottest, one being the, the coolest of the heated seat temperatures. And then the same thing with the water temperature. You have room temperature right out of the, the water, and then you have uh, one, two, and three for heated water's temperature. I keep both my seat temperature and the water temperature on one because the seat gets really, really pretty warm, too warm actually for me to go any higher than the first setting. And the same thing with the heated water. Uh, beyond the first setting, it just is too hot for me. I don't, I don't need any more than that. All right, so the next button that I'm gonna show you is the auto button back here. And you need to hit either the cleansing button first or the bidet button first and then the auto button. And when you do that, it will go into a cleaning wash mode, an oscillating wash mode, and then an oscillating with massage mode. And each of those will operate for 20 seconds and then it will stop. Let me show you. I'm gonna hit cleansing and then auto. All right, so that was 20 seconds and now it's moved into its oscillating wash button for 20 seconds. All right, and then the last 20 seconds of this automatic is oscillating wash with massage, which means moving back and forth and pressure increasing and decreasing. All right, and after 60 seconds, it automatically stops. And you can see it's dripping in the back there and, oh, and it starts the heating function actually as well, the fan function. And that goes for, I believe, 60 seconds. All right, so the last two buttons left on here are the user preset one and the user preset two. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna sit on the toilet and you're going to hit the user one or user two first, whichever one you're gonna be setting up. Then you're going to hit the cleansing button and then you're going to adjust the nozzle position, which means forwards or backwards. If you want it to, like if you have a, a kid, you may want it further back uh, because they're shorter um, or further forward if they sit really up onto the front of the seat. Uh, you may want to move the nozzle forward for their preset. So for example here, I'm going to hit the user one, then I'm going to hit cleaning and then I'm gonna let it come out and see where it's squirting. All right, so that's pretty far forward. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the nozzle position and I'm gonna move it back a little bit. All right, that looks pretty good. I think that's where I want it. Uh, I'm gonna say the water pressure might be a little bit too high, so let's go ahead and bump it down just a little. Uh, nah, actually let's go up just a little. There we go. So bumped up the water pressure just a little bit and we'll say, all right, that's pretty good for user one. So if I hit the user button again, it will lock in user one. Now I can hit stop. Now, if you hit the cleansing button or the bidet button, and then you hit a user preset button, it will come out to that last preset that you had for the nozzle position. As you can see, it's pretty far back right there, and the pressure is a little bit harder than maybe it originally started with. All right, so there you have it. That's all of the functions for the Bio Bidet A7 Special Edition Luxury Smart Toilet Seat. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button for me. Also, please share it with somebody else. I really would appreciate it. Please subscribe to the channel, check out the other videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.